everybody and welcome back to my channel, The Retired Guys. Today I am going to make something with my favorite vegetable. I love corn. I he love loves it. it. Absolutely. I love it when I have uh, chicken cutlets, mashed potatoes, and corn. I always mix my corn with my mashed potatoes. I love corn. I love corn uh, where I make... Uh, I put it in flour and I'll I'll make it like a, a pancake. I Pretty can do it that way. I can eat cream corn literally out of the can. I'm also going to be making in the future a corn casserole. But today I'm going to make a little snack, and these are corn fritters. And let me show you what you're going to need for that. You're going to need a bowl. You're going to need one cup of sifted flour. You're going to need one tablespoon of baking powder. You're going to need a half a tablespoon of salt. And you're going to need one quarter tablespoon, of I'm sorry, one quarter teaspoon of sugar. You're also going to need one quarter uh, stick of butter. It's going to be melted. My salt is salted. I have mine salted. You're going to need one egg. You're going to need a half a cup of milk and one can of drained corn. Uh, sweet corn would be best. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to sift our flour. Hold on a second. So we're going to sift our flour in here. And I sift the flour because I just make sure there are no lumps. Don't get your oil over here cooking. And I have my oil actually heating up. Right there. Okay, so we're going to sift the flour. And sifting the flour does make a difference because it makes it makes your fritters very, very fluffy. So you want to get rid of all the lumps in the flour, and the best thing to do is to sift it. Makes it finer. If you have a sifter, which I do, but unfortunately I didn't take it out, but this is fine. It goes by very quickly. Okay, so there's my sifted flour. And now we're going to add the uh, one tablespoon of baking powder. We're going to add the half a teaspoon of salt. And we're going to add the one quarter teaspoon of sugar. And those are your dry ingredients. We're going to give this a little stir just to mix it all together. Meanwhile, my oil is heating up very nicely. Okay, that we're going to put aside. Now for the wet ingredient, we're going to take one egg in a separate bowl and give that a whisk so this is for corn like you couldn't make a uh, pea fritters right no no corn oh, right. you're going to add your half a cup of milk that was a joke i know that yeah pea fritters <laughs> And I'm going to put my butter in the microwave to melt it. So when we come back, we'll add that also. Okay, so my butter is now melted. So I'm going to pour that in. Give it a whisk. Okay, so that's all mixed together. Let's clean the butter off. The next thing you want to do is you want to add your wet ingredients into your dry mixture. Use a batter, right? Right. You're gonna make. You're basically gonna make a batter, and you're gonna give this a stir. Normally, you can add pepper to this if you wanted to, but I'm omitting the pepper because I just want to have the corn fritter without the pepper. I don't want it to be, I want it to be a little sweet. That's why I added the sugar. Okay, and there's your batter. Now you want to take your one can of uh, the whole kernel corn, sweet corn, you want to add that in. If you have corn on the cob, sweet corn on the cob, and you want to cut that off the cob and mix that, that's fine. Give this a good mix. To do to mix it better, this so we're just going to use a spoon. Okay, 
Okay, so that's all mixed and ready to go. So when we come back, I'm going to show you how you make your fritters. Okay, so my batter's ready. My oil is at 350, so you want to keep it constant. So I lowered the heat a little so it stays. I have a cookie tray, and on the bottom I put a piece of paper towel, and I have a warming rack on top because when you want to take them out, you want to put them on a rack. And you also want to get one, one of these to strain them out. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take a little bit in your spoon. And you're basically going to plop that in. That's basically how it sticks together, right? It doesn't spread apart. No. Be very careful, the oil is hot. You're gonna have to do this in batches. Okay, so we're going to do just a couple. And we are going to get another spoon. And we're just gonna flip them a little so they get a little. They cook fast, yeah. They cook within 10 or 15 minutes, they should be done. These little pieces here, we can take these out because we really don't need those. And they'll just burn the oil. So these little pieces, as you're cooking your fritter, you can actually remove them. Little bowls of dough. Yeah, that's what they are. You put that on the market with sugar, you make a fortune. Okay, so you just wanna turn them over. They look so good. I think they could be done before 10 minutes, you think? My God, look at they're done now. I wouldn't try it anyway. Okay, so when they get golden, I'm gonna lower this a little bit more. I'm gonna bring this closer. They have little pearly onions. They do. They have to cook on the other side. This one's done. So we're gonna remove that. That looks good. And we're gonna remove these. And that's how, and that's how you make your corn fritters. Those are absolutely delicious. Now. What you're gonna do, I'm gonna show you at the end, what I love to do is once I get a whole bunch of them, I'm gonna just drizzle a little bit of maple syrup on top of them. Absolutely delicious. So when we come back, we'll show you that. I'm gonna actually, I'll show you one more time. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take, we're gonna take our spoon. Okay, and we're gonna, oh, sorry. Oh. Drop that in. Oh, got a little burnt there. That's why you got it. That came out bad. Was that me? Was that just the thing? I think it was me. Put it up right here. I'm going to use the biggest spoon. I like bigger ones. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of, this is actually going to keep that one. Yeah, keep that one, that's fine. Yeah, I'm just going to get rid of this, these little baby those batter. These little baby batter things, because I don't I want to. They look like, they look like, like onions and so weak. I don't want it to burn my oil. Just got to flip them once in a while. If you have, actually, I think what I can use, which is going to be better to cook these, I'm going to use next. So I have a ladle, a very small ladle. And I think that'll be better than using the spoon because for some reason, the batter doesn't want to stay on the spoon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try my little oh, yeah. slotted spoon which is, I'm going to take a little bit of batter. Okay. And I'm going to dump it in that way. That's better? And I think that's better. 
I think it's a little bit better, yeah. I yeah mean, it is. Don't worry about how they come out as far as the size is concerned or the shapes. Okay. No, you can't change that. It's going to go you can't change that, right? Okay, so these are done. So I'm going to take these out here. Oh, nice. Very nice. They look real. They almost remind me of Zeppelis. When we come back? So when we come back, I love. Uh, oh, yeah, see, it's good. Jane said that when we come back. When we come back, we should have these all finished, and I'll show you how we finish them up. Okay, so these are done. These are, this is the finished product, and these look absolutely delicious. Now, I was going to drizzle a little bit of syrup on it, but then James brought to my attention that he thinks the syrup may be a little bit too much. You, what you, I could recommend that you do is, if you like maple syrup, I would put a little bit of maple syrup in a little jar on the side of you want to dip them in. You could put a little jar of honey and dip those in. I wouldn't do powdered sugar. Sugar. Eating them just the way they are, just the way they are, perfect. is actually perfect. So I'm going to show you one. I'm going to take this. Oh, let's take this big guy right here. So we'll take this big guy, and I'm going to break it open. I'm going to show you what it looks like. Look at that. Look how fluffy that is inside. So let's give this a taste. Heaven, right? If I opened up a little stand and just sold these, I'd make a fortune. You would, you would. I told you that. You'd make a fortune. These are absolutely delicious. Let me give a little piece to James. There you go. So follow my recipe. It's very easy. This is one can of corn, one cup of flour, a little bit of baking soda. I'm sorry, baking powder, sugar, and salt. That's all it is. Very, very easy to make. If you're a corn lover like me, these are a must. One more. Oh my God, that's so good. <laughs> that is so delicious. And that's a great snack. Wow. On a, on a cold day, but... Any day. I would eat these even in the summer and the spring. These are absolutely delicious. I am a corn lover. So, if you like this video, please hit the like button. Please subscribe to my channel. Please share this if you think somebody would love this recipe. And like I say at the end of all my videos, take care of one another, especially now. Peace out.